dear students of grade 8 uh, once again uh, welcome back to my english class uh, it's uh, rk channel youtube channel and uh, today i am here here with new unit that is uh, unit 11 and uh, we have some pictures uh, four pictures are here you can see i'll look at the picture and talk about the places and the people uh, students there are two pictures about the place and then we have two people two personalities are here and uh, can you guess students what is the picture all about the first one uh, i think it's a picture of a temple uh, yes uh, maybe a uh, pashupatinath or uh, something else yes and the second picture we can see here the people a crowd of people you know people are gathering at a place uh, nearby cave you know it's like a cave here and what they, exactly they are doing they are going to have something religious occasion here uh, in the third picture and the fourth picture there are two personalities uh, students uh, uh, here in the in this picture we can see he may be or you know well-known personality of Nepal and the fourth picture uh, she seems to be formal president of Nepal I guess students with uh, their Devi Bhandari she may be but if you know students you can write me on comment and uh, so that I come to know but exactly but I can guess uh, she is uh, formal president of Nepal so student this is all about the picture here and we have reading one and before reading we have some questions here we are going to study the text here that is you know, sir isaac newton we are going to study about him and before uh, the text we have who is sir you know, uh, isaac newton you know students uh, he is the greatest uh, English mathematician student of his generation and uh, what is he famous for? He is famous for his discoveries related to mathematics and science that is uh, we are going to discuss here in this unit. So here we start now. Here is the students we so this is the text students we we have that is Sir Isaac Newton. Uh, before the text uh, let us know about some words meaning uh, like uh, peasant, you know peasant means farmer, you know, maternal uh, is a caring and interrupted, it's a uh, disturbs, you know. Uh, I have there is a mistake students, there should be double R and typing mistake is here so you can correct this one this is interrupted yes this top and dull you know boring and telescope or device used to make the thing loose and the cob rounded and crock crocked so <coughs> now let's start the text here <coughs> you can see the picture of Newton here yes Isaac Newton was born in 1643 in you know was trophy england in he was born in where in england in 1643 my god students <coughs> in 1643 he was born and he was the son of peasant who died three months before isaac was born the student and when he was just three three months old and uh, you know his father his father died and he was a peasant he was a farmer and newton spent most of most of his early years with his maternal mother after his mother remarried so after his mother got second married and he was taken care by the maternal mother caring grandmother and his education was uh, interrupted by a failed attempt to the turn into a farmer the students 
obviously his study was disturbed you know when he was you know made to do agriculture work made to do farming work uh, in the beginning uh, the he seems to be a dull boy students in the very beginning of his school time he was very boring and dull he was not that much good students uh, he had little interest in study so obviously students he was a dull student and he has he had no interest about his study uh, however he liked uh, to use his hands he used to make little machines such as windmills he would catch mice and make them drive some of his little machine so in those days during the study time he was not good in study on the other hand he was good in his uh, his hand means uh he, he he's a skillful man you can say and uh, full of skill and he used to make a machine and uh, you know like a machine such windmills then he catch a mouse and make their machine to drive by the those mouse so this is what he used to do in his school time at the age of 19 when he became 19 years old newton went to cambridge university you know he went to the cambridge university and there he study about mathematics and science so he started to make discoveries in mathematics when he was a college student so he already has started you know making discoveries about in science and mathematics when he was studying in college he started to make discovery he continued to do after he had achieved his degree you know he kept doing all these discoveries and finding the discoveries you know until he achieved his degree and uh, he got his degree he was appointed professor of mathematics when he was only 26 years old student so at the age of 26 years old he was appointed as a professor of you know mathematics professor and uh, Newton did not limit his study to mathematics you know li- not do not limit mr uh, means um he continued he continued his study so newton kept continuing the study of mathematics he became very interested in the behavior of light so he was very very interested in the behavior of light you know he was curious about the light in the behavior of light his interest in light uh, led to the pro- improvement of the telescope so because of his this interest his interest and in uh, uh that his interest this interest led to the improvement of telescope you know it's a kind of device students uh, to make the thing close or bigger the lens in telescope uh, in those days were not as good as modern days the students in the past time in those day the lens wasn't that much good as compared to modern days a uh, newton showed that curved mirrors could be used instead of lens yes uh, they proved uh, newton proved that in curved means a rounded mirror you know can be used instead of the lenses these gave gave better result in some way and such telescope have been used ever since so students and you know, these can made a better results and uh, they can be used you know long lasting they can be long lasting or forever for the long time they can be used so next page students move to the next page to on the page now yes so here we have student next page so before this we have also some words meaning here wonder means surprise gravitational you know the force of attraction to something absent mindedness it's a lost completely in thought in a cough ek sorry couch it's a couch you know soft that is sofa and the puzzle that is uh, confused and apologizing say to say sorry so move to the text here 
The story goes so that one day Newton was sitting under an apple tree when an apple fell onto the ground. So what happens students one day and the day begins when the one Newton was sitting under a tree he was sitting under a tree and the when the apple fell onto the ground yes at the moment the apple fell onto the ground he began to wonder you know he got surprised why it fell onto the ground why the apple fell onto the ground he wanted to know but why it didn't go upward in sky and he, again he thought that why the apple didn't went up in the sky if it fall down it should it should went it should go up in the sky also so that is what you know newton start thinking about this uh, after a great deal of thought you know after thinking a long time he is produce his theory of gravitation you know and after you know after having this event uh, and uh, he finally you know produce the theory of gravitation theory of gravitation he showed he proved that each body attract the other he proved that each body attract each other the sun and the earth attract each other and he says that he said that the sun and the earth also attract each other the moon and earth also attract each other that's why the moon remains near our center and rush we so that's why students the moon and always remain near us and it never go away newton's head was usually full of ideas and problem that he was open lost in thought so students uh, you know the newton had means newton mind you can say Newton mind always remain full of the full of ideas and the you know uh, in order to solve problem and uh, he was often lost in thought you know he always used to thinking of his invention and their ideas on such occasion he forgot his meal and friends so sometimes students he used to forget his meal and the friend because of yes his busy mind uh, there are many stories of his absent mindness in you know, absent mindness you know lost in thoughts you know he used to be uh, lost in thoughts all the time there are a story about him so once he was entering his guest at dinner you know when he was entering his guest at dinner eh, sorry entertaining so one day he called his guest you know at dinner and he he was going to entertain or he was going to serve his guest he went out the room to fetch some food and items so what happened students so their guest was sitting in the room and the newton went out the room and fetch you know he went to the kitchen maybe to bring some food items for the guest for a long time Okay, his friend waited for his return, but you know Newton didn't return back, and uh, he there his uh, guest, you know, uh, waited for a long time for his return, but neither the host nor the food item appeared. So students, neither the food came there and nor Newton. At last, they went to look for him and they found that he was busy in his study. So finally, the guest, you know, the guest of Newton, and he went to look for him. You know, we decide he decided to look uh, for Newton that, uh, and he found that he was busy in his study. So he had forgotten his friend. So this is the incident happened to Newton, you know, and he forgotten. He had forgotten his friend and. food so he was very very you know curious and he is very uh, you know he, he was seeking about his uh, career uh, you know inventions he was always he remain always in his thought so that's why this incident happened one day occasion newton invited one of his friend for dinner at home 
okay on another occasion newton invited one of his friend he also invited one of his friend for the dinner at home his friend arrived on time you know his friend was on time but newton was not there you know but the newton was not there newton called the friend and his friend came but the newton was not there at home the guest sat down uh, on a couch and waited for newton to have dinner together so what happened student the guest you know he sat down on couch you know sofa and waited for newton's return so that they, they both can have dinner together as he was feeling hungry the you know guest and the friend of newton was feeling very hungry he often looked at the food item on the dinner table okay uh, he starts staring at the dinner you know food item on the table because he was very hungry and he uh, he was waiting for a newton return and the guest waited for a long time but the guest waited for a long time students he waited for a long, long time but uh, he got tired of waiting you know he got tired so he decided to have dinner alone finally the student the guest decided to have the dinner alone because he waited for a long time for newton but newton didn't came and that's why he is he was going to have dinner alone so after having dinner he waited for newton again so after having dinner students his friend also waited again uh after several hours you know after several hours newton arrived home so after too long you know after after a long time Newton arrived home he was puzzled to see the guest at home you know he was like puzzled means you know confused he was confused to see the guest at home soon he realized that he had entirely forgotten about the invitation soon the finally soon Newton realized that yes he had invited his friend at the dinner he, he came to know very after a very long time after apologizing you know after saying sorry he returned to the dinner table and noticed that someone had already dined dined means here uh, dined means uh, have dinner yes the dinner so yes he uh, he returned to the dinner table uh, finally after saying sorry to his friend and the newton i uh, went to the dinner table there he found that the all the dinner have somebody had uh, you know taken already i'm sorry he said you know that guy said i'm sorry i see that i have already eaten my dinner you know see i have taken my dinner already i should have eaten it for you he said that i must have eaten it for you but i have had i had my dinner already so this is all about the incident happened to the happened to newton <coughs> yes students and uh, this is all about our text also of reading to so with this uh, i am going to finish the text students if the video is informative is knowledgeable so do like my video do subscribe and share students with that i'm going to finish this video today so i'll be back you know very soon with the exercises and till then uh, goodbye see you in the next video so take care of yourself